Hi, well, welcome to the old geezer's diary and a 50 pence breakfast. It's a little bit more than that in real life, but uh, <laughs> it's close enough, 60 or 70, I, I suppose. Um, I like cooked breakfasts and uh, I tend to have that reflected in my time, I know, but uh, nonetheless, I'm still going to have cooked breakfast because I like them. And uh, what I'm having this morning is something I bought the other day that I mentioned, which is black pudding. Just reach across and get that. This is black pudding. It's a, um, essentially, it's what, what you might call the blood sausage. It's got uh, quite a lot of various crap in it, but it's mainly um, beef blood and bits and pieces and oats and pearl barley and all sorts of oddments. Essentially, it's cereals plus beef blood, which makes it go black, I suppose. And um, it's a way... In the old days, it was a way of using up every bit of um, nourishment that there was on an animal. And so there you go. It's uh, a black pudding or a blood pudding. Call it what you like. And uh, all you do with it is fry it. So that's what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to put a fried egg on top of it. Because um, it's really a nice breakfast for someone like me who's a meat eater. So there you go. Okay, well, we'll get it underway. So the first thing to do is to get the uh, oil warmed up a bit. Doesn't have to be too hot, but it's just easier to turn the um, frying pan up high and then go from there. So let's just fight with the plastic packaging. And here we go. Oh, don't want to come apart. Take a sharp knife. Apart. Mm, yes. Right, and there we go. We we'll get that off and uh, start cooking. As soon as it starts to sizzle, I'll just um, turn it down a bit. I tend to turn the oil up high just to get it up to temperature quickly. But there we go. So, okay, I'll let that fry for a moment. As you can see, it soon goes black on the outside from that red colour. Now, I tend to cook mine until it's crispy on the outside and cooked through on the inside. You can tell it's cooked through on the inside because the colour changes from reddish in this one to blackish. I tend to think that this product, which is the Little's product, has got more fat in it than some of the others because it tends to end up with a quite a pitted kind of surface crisp nice tasty but it falls apart and i think there's quite a lot of fat in it anyway so there you go but it's still tasty and nice and with an egg on top my goodness it's good for you now my black pudding looks as if it's doing rather well um looking nicely gently not hard but uh it should be nice and crispy on the outside now Unlike TV chefs who are not, um, <laughs> I suppose, allowed really to cut their product while it's still cooking because they don't want to present something that's already been cut into, I don't care. Uh, I'd rather my stuff is cooked as I like it and therefore I'm going to look on the inside. And there it is, it's gone pretty black, it's nice. I'm going to move that up onto the bit of the pan that's out of the way of the oil so it won't cook in oil much longer and it'll still cook a bit but there you go and I shall stick an egg on it just like that there we go and we've had a nice fried egg on top to give it a runny component Because the only issue really with uh, that pudding from my point of view is it, it's quite dry. I'm going to turn some bits of the egg over so it's a bit thicker and tight. And 
from there. That's starting to look like a rather nice breakfast from my point of view. And again, from my point of view, it's um, one of those breakfasts that people say, oh, I couldn't eat that. Well, I tend to say, have you tried it? Um, because you don't know what you might like the taste of. I think a lot of people have problems with flat pudding and similar products because they think that it's, it's going to be disgusting. But actually, flat pudding tastes nice. <laughs> I like the taste of it and that's why I eat it. There you go. So I'm just going to flip my egg for a minute to solid it off a bit on that side. There we go. Won't leave that like that for too long. I'll have a slurp of tea. And now breakfast looks ready. Yep. Certainly does. Now I have to say that yesterday I did a test fry on one of these and the thing that happened was I found that because I think a lot of it um, cooked away like fat, cooked, whoops, cooked away, um, the black pudding dissolved quite a lot <laughs> or fell apart too easily and there you have it that's how my black pudding and uh, fried egg on top looks there you have it it's a little fried egg which i like with a little bit of salt and, um, just to give it a bit more additional savor and let's just see how the black pudding's turned out i think what's going to happen again on this little black pudding is that it's going to be a bit too a bit too dry because fat I think is cooked out of it and it's got more fat in it than it maybe needs but there you go that's my first forkful I have to say it's very tasty black pudding but it's just it's just consistency it doesn't hang together quite as well as some others bit of yolk yeah, there you go, you see that's what's happened there. Black pudding's fallen apart. It's cooked to my taste, but it is in terms of hanging apart, it doesn't hang apart so well. Or it doesn't stay together so well. Mmm. it's nonetheless extremely yummy if you happen to like this kind of thing which of course I do so there you see it that's um, breakfast and as you can see I've got my little bit of bread and that just lets me wipe up all the final little bits because that's what you should do now that was really nice tasty black pudding but it could have been a bit better if it had kept intact <laughs> I do like my black pudding in nice lumps. Um, it kind of ended up as kind of a lot of shrapnel, broken up bits and pieces, but it still tasted pretty good and I thoroughly enjoyed every last nibble. So what I'll do next week is get some uh, from another source, I think from the co-op who used a different manufacturer, and see what this is like. I think theirs is a bit more expensive, but I think it's slightly better quality. Even having said that about the quality, I do think that the uh, the Littles black pudding was really quite tasty and nice, so I really enjoyed the taste of it. I just found the consistency wasn't as nice as maybe it could have been. Okay, that's me. I'm Chris, this is Retired People's Club, and we do strange things that interest me. See you soon. <laughs>